very good morning children how are you all fine right so today we are going to learn max this will be our max text hope you have got this and everyone keep your books neat by covering all your books now take your textbook and a max notebook and keep it ready with you so today we are going to learn the first chapter that is numbers up to 200 so all of you open your notebooks take a fresh page write today's date write the heading by looking into the textbook numbers up to 200 hope you have done this now let's start we have learned the numbers from 1 to 100 what all are the numbers we have learned 1 2 3 4 5 so you know the numbers now I'm going to give you an activity write the numbers from 1 to 50 you pause the video write the numbers and we'll be continuing after that hope you have written the numbers from 1 to 50 so from 1 to 50 you have written now let's find is there any difference between these numbers from 1 to 9 there is only one digit in this and after 9 what happens the number is 10 how many digits are there in 10 there are two digits so what is the difference from 1 to 9 the numbers are one digit number one to nine it is one digit number and from 10 the two digits start from 10 to 99 there are two digits you can see two digits in the number 99 how many digits are there nine nine is there only one digit no there are two digits so from 10 to 99 there are two digits and they are the two digit numbers Now we'll see the biggest one digit number is 9. Smallest two digit number think and say what it is you can look into your book and say the smallest two digit number is 10 the biggest two digit number is 99 So you can see the biggest one digit number is 9, smallest two digit number is 10, biggest two digit number is 99. Now what happens after 99? What is the number after 99? We know it is plus 1, it becomes 100, 100. How many digits are there in 100? Is it two digit? Is it one digit? No, there are three digits in this number. So from 100, the three digits start. Now open your textbook and in page number one, 
you can write down, you can see the number names there. We have already learnt the number names from 1 to 100. Let's revise. You know O N E 1 like that we have learnt T E N what is it 10 T W E N T Y is 20. Now I am going to give you another activity. Write the number names from 1 to 20. Pause the video and write the number names from 1 to 20. Hope you have done. In the textbook also there is a exercise you can do that as homework. The number names. Now we can look the number names from 100. 1 you know the number already O N A 1. 100. H U N D R E D is 100. And what will be the next number after 100? It is 101. So, how will we write the number name? Same 101. We will see. 1 O N E 1 H U N D R E D. It is 100. Now, we need 101. Now, what is the number? 101. In this way, we will be able to write the number names from 100 to 200. Suppose 140. How will we write? It is 140. So, we will write it as 100. Forty. What is the spelling of forty? F O R T Y. Now, why we have written the number name for the number one hundred and forty here as one hundred forty. Hope you are clear till this. Now, ten tens makes one hundred. So, if it is 140, how can we write this? We can write it as 140, but we can expand it as 1. What is the number in the 1's place? It is 1. We write it as 100. Plus 4. What is the place value here? We will see it from the right side. 1s, 10s, 100. So, the place value of 4 is 10s. So, we write it as 4 10s. Is there 1s? The place in the 1s place the number is 0. So, we can write it as 0 1s. Now, there is an activity in your textbook, you can do it in this way. Numbers from 200 to 200 is 100, 101, 102, 103, 104, you know it goes like this. Now, let us learn the number which comes before and after a given number. In a single digit, if 5 is given, what is the number after 5? We just count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, what is the number? The number is 6 after 5. In the same way, we can do it as in the 3 digit number also. Now, after 103, what is the number? The number is 104. Suppose I am giving you like this, write the number 
after 105. What will be the number? It is 106. Number after 112. What will be the number? You just count 110, 111, 112, 113. Which number did you get? Yes, 113. You can write it like this. So, just count and you will be able to write the number after a given number. Now, 145. What will be the number after 145? It is 146. Let's do some more examples. 182. What will be the number after 182? Just count 180, 181, 182, 183. So, which number did you get? Yes. Write down 183. Like this, we will be able to find out the number that comes after a given number. Now, we will write the number which comes before. Before means just check. 1, 2, 3. So, the number of before 3, which is the number you can see 1, 2, 3. So, the number before 3 is 2. Like this, we can do in 3 digit number also. The number 105 before. Now, here we have to write what is the number that comes before 105? We can count 100, 101. 102, 103, 104, 105. Which number came? 104. So, write it down here. We will do some more examples. 108. Which number will be coming here? Just count. 101, 102, 103, 104, 105, 106, 107, 108. Did you get it? Yes. Comes 107. 184. Which number will be coming before? One hundred and eighty one, one hundred and eighty two, one hundred and eighty three, one hundred and eighty four. Which number? 183. So, by doing like this, we will be able to find out the number which comes before and after a given number. Hope you understood this concept. Now, let us learn the number that comes between. What do you mean by between that comes in the middle? Suppose 1, 2, 3. Which number came in between? 2. Number 20, 21, 22. What is the number that comes in between? 21. Now, let me say 12, 14. Something is missing. What is that? 12, 13, 14. What is the number missing there? 13. So, the number 13 comes in between. 105 and 107 is given to you. We have to write the number that comes in between. Which is the number missing? You can count like before. 105, 106, 107. So, which is the number that is not there? Yes, 106. You can write it down. 112, 114. Something is missing. Which is the number missing there? 112, 113, 114. So, did you get the number? Yes, it is 113. 178, 180. Now, what is the number? You can say 178, 179, 180. What is the number there? 179. After the number 199, what is the next number? It is 200. 
and we can write it as 2 T W O 200. So, hope you are aware of this concept till now. Let us learn to find out the place value using an abacus. We learned that it is a 3 digit number and how we are going to look at the place value from the right side. So, ones, tens, hundreds we can represent it on an abacus. Numbers 142, 2 comes in the ones place, 4 tens place, 1 comes in the hundreds place. So, let us draw. H means 100, tens, T, ones, O. Now, how many ones are there? There are two ones. So, we have to draw two beads in the ones position. Which is the ones position? To the right side. So, let us draw two beads. Why did we draw two beads? Because here in the ones position there are two beads. Now, let us move on to the tens place. How many tens? There are four. So, how many beads should we draw here? Four. One, two, 3, 4. Now, we will move on to the hundreds place. What is there in the hundreds place? 1. So, how many beads you have to draw? 1. So, here the beads in the hundreds position represents 100 that is 100. Here the tens place 1 bead represents 10. So, 10, 20, 30, 40. Here we got it 4 and in the 1's place there are 2. Here in the 1's place 1 bead represents 1. So, 1, 2 and we got the number 142. Let us represent this number on an abacus. What is this number? We read it as 176. So, let us draw. H represents 100, T represents tens, O represents ones. Now, what is there in the ones place? It is 6. So, how many beads should we draw? 6. Where should we draw? In the ones place. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now, we will move on to the tens place. 7. We will have to draw 7 beads in the tens position. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Let us move on to the hundreds position. There is only 100. So, 1 bead. So, this is how we represent on an abacus. Hope you understood what all was taught today. We will be meeting in the next class. Till then, Take care and do all the activities that was given to you. Thank you.